The Xbox Game Pass is constantly evolving and releasing new games month after month. And with the Ultimate version, we not only have the chance to play the available titles from the catalog via cloud gaming, it now lets us play our own titles, well, some of our own titles, via the cloud gaming option. How it works and how it performs, I'm going to show you now. Short disclaimer at this point, this video doesn't have a sponsor because I'm just doing this for fun. So what do we actually need to play some of our own games via the cloud gaming service? It's pretty easy. First of all, we need the Game Pass Ultimate subscription. This is just how it works. And then, of course, you got to log in to your account on the cloud gaming. And short thing here, quick note, the cloud gaming still is in beta. I made a video about cloud gaming in general for the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which I'm going to link somewhere here. I always forget where it is so or in the description below i'm going to link this video as well if you want to see how it performs it hasn't changed a lot the video i was talking about is a little bit older maybe a half year maybe a little bit older i can't remember but it hasn't changed a lot some things did which i'm going to mention here too a little later so you have the game pass ultimate you have some games which are not in the catalog included uh, from the uh, Game Pass Ultimate. It will show you, and I'm going to show you where you can find this. So you logged into your Xbox account and went to Cloud Gaming. I believe you're familiar with this. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to link the Microsoft page below where you can go through this step by step. So we're here on the on the Microsoft page, as you can see. I can jump back in titles. Well, I know for a fact that this title right now is not in the Game Pass included and neither is Dying Light, for example. So we go a little bit further down. We see all the play with mouse and keyboard stuff, most popular on cloud. And then it comes to a category where it says stream your own game. Here it says new. Whenever you're going to watch this video, it might not be a newer feature, but it is one of the latest features they have added. So, and you see some games which are not your own, right? Uh, maybe you don't own Assassin's Creed Shadows or Rust or whatever, but you own several other games. So, and then you click on Show All. And as you can see here, it shows you all the available games which you can purchase and play via cloud gaming. Not all those games are yours, of course. You have to buy them. Let's pick uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows. So you buy this and then it's going to show up here in the purchased section. So let me just um, scroll down a little bit. You can see how many games are actually available. This is a ton. What I do think is kind of funny that they always show a uh, complete edition, complete master, super duper edition, who cares? I don't know. It would be much nicer if you just click on it and then you see the available titles. I think this is a little bit too uh, bloated. Uh, here with Hitman you can see that as well. It's kind of stupid. So you scroll down, you see like a ton of games are available right now and I think it's going to evolve over time. One of my favorite is that uh, the first Berserker Kazan is available via cloud gaming. Very, very cool that you can play this via cloud gaming if you own this game. So we scroll down and it's not a lot right now. You have purchased some of those games and then you click on purchased. Then you see those games. For me, which are available are Assassin's Creed Mirage, Avatar, Cyberpunk, Dying Light, Hogwarts, Metro Exodus, Kazan and The Witcher, which is kind of cool. So you just click on your game and then you can play it. You own this game and you can play it via cloud gaming. Let's go back to show all. So I'm going to go back on all games stream on your own. I'm scrolling down here and as you can see, you have all these kind of tiny buttons here. Like this game is made to play with, with your controller. And then you see, oh, these avatar versions, which I have one of those, and you see this little mark here. And that actually indicates that you can play this title via the cloud gaming and for Dying Light as well. So I have Dying Light and I can play this. And then it says like, play, you own this. 
I tested this and now it comes to the bad part of it. I tested this from the last time I made a video about cloud gaming. I was a little bit complaining about uh, the, the overall bitrate. And with the bitrate, it hasn't changed a lot. It's still, I don't know, it still looks messy. Uh, however you play this, if I play this on my phone, if I play this uh, on the notebook, uh, it, it doesn't matter which kind of internet connection I'm using. Um, I have a very, very good one here at home, uh, but I also tested that in different environments with different uh, Wi-Fi's. So, and it's always the bitrate. Uh, what has improved, though, is the fact that the controller response to the computer or to your phone has increased. The input lag is not as big anymore. It has gotten better over time, that for sure, but they're still working on the bitrate. Well, at least I hope they're still working on the bitrate issue because it just looks... Sometimes it looks like super messy and you can see that even on a smaller phone. I have uh, this phone here is an iPhone uh, 12 mini or 13 mini. I don't know. Can't remember. So, but it's the mini version and uh, I have another phone, which is the iPhone 16 E um, and I can use that too to uh, play those titles. I have the notebook here um, and the bitrate itself is always messy. No matter where you are, if you play on 5G, if you play on your uh, very good internet connection um, or somewhere else, uh, it's always the same. It is a little bit, it's just blurry and I actually yeah, think it could be better, uh, especially nowadays. Um, but as you can see, the cloud gaming service is still in beta. It always shows you the tiny little sign here and it always says beta. I think once it's out of the beta, uh, I believe that they are going to make it a little bit more expensive, but then they have to deliver. Right now, um, the quality is okay. Uh, it's playable and it's a good like you, you, you get it with the ultimate game pass. It's for free right now. I don't know what they do in the future. I still believe that they are going to release a separate version, cloud gaming only or whatever. Uh, and then they're going to charge for this, which is not a problem. Um, but then they have to really, really, really increase, uh, the problems, the issues with the bitrate and the latency and, and the consistency and the, the entire thing, the entire performance of this thing is not quite where, where it could be. Um, I've heard that NVIDIA now is really, really good. It's very, very good. Uh, that's, that's what I heard at least. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and that's actually very interesting. If you have any experience with the NVIDIA GeForce Now, uh, then write in the comments below if it's better. Did you test the Game Pass as well? That would be great. But back to the point, um, you can see that all my games um, have this little mark here. And that means that I can play them via cloud gaming on the go. And this is a very, very cool feature. They didn't have to do this, but I think it's great that they made it happen and not just relying on the Game Pass included titles. But as I mentioned, you have to have the Game Pass Ultimate. The core version is doesn't include this feature. So uh, I hope you could learn something from this video uh, and know how it works now. And uh, maybe you'll get into that. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, now it would be the moment to do so. Like this video and uh, give this small, tiny little channel a chance to grow. That would be cool. And um, yeah, I hope I see you next time. Peace out.